Hi everyone, I'm Honeywell, and welcome back to our next episode of Planet Base. In the last episode, we delayed fixing up our power grid in order to try and address some of the, the meteor problems that we had. Uh, we also put in a bar, and we were just going to open the base back up to visitors and test out our food supplies. Um, I think we have enough, but I want to go ahead and, uh, and make sure that's uh, front and center to see how the bar is going to make out. If it's used too heavily, uh, do we want the onion? Eh, not, not that much. No, 620. Uh, I do want the onions, and I think we might even uh, start making salads once I get the onion and tomato uh, tech, GMO, GM, onion and tomato DNA, uh, but not right now. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, not dismiss this person. We're going to buy some spares. Oh wait, 46? We're going to buy two spares for exactly 46 coins. It seems like a destiny. And we have some trader uh, visitors, so we'll turn off this landing pad. And uh, we have a fairly unhappy visitor. So we'll see what they do to our uh, food supply. And again, I have this security center on priority, there's not much more I can do uh, to keep these consoles manned right now. So it's just going to have to be what it is and uh, we're going to be relying on luck as much as anything else. And I actually forgot I had all this being built back here. Once this is built, uh, then we'll we'll consider uh, our next step. We're gonna go ahead and pick up the speed so that gets done. I'm excited to have this all fixed. And we're still making constructor bots. We're just starting back up carrier bots. Um, we have, oh, let's check that out. Uh, oh, see, look. My picture is ruined. It should be a, a pretty, pretty picture. But our base is uh, shaping up nicely. We're down to three carrier bots, which is not enough, but our constructor bots are looking pretty healthy and our driller bots as well. Uh, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Well, at least we have some constructor bots, <laughs> and uh, no one was in the hallway. Our uh, our food supply seem to be uh, doing just fine. We still have 40 meals. I think that's more meals than we have colonists. It's exactly the number of colonists. Um, that is a really healthy amount of food. Uh, I couldn't ask for any more than a meal for every colonist. Um, plus a little food in reserve. No one seems to be particularly attracted to this, except for our visitor, which is exactly why it's here. Uh, we want them to be able to drink their morale back up as fast as possible, get on their ship, give us our coins, and uh, go their way. I know this is ridiculous, but um, we don't need this wa this extractor. We're going to go ahead and recycle it. We just got up another water extractor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and recycle this. Let's turn that on and see what it does to our, our water grid. 
we're still producing a little extra and with these three water tanks uh, once they fill up it'll give us a big buffer for when this water uh, oscillates down uh, really I put in the three water tanks uh, for aesthetic reasons <laughs> uh, and it just helps me draw my attention to to the water oh I left visitors on well that's fine let's turn this back on and yeah our food is maintaining we have a little bit of reserve even with these three drink machines so I'm pretty happy with that I think I think the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to build another control center and this placement might change I'm not sure yet I haven't thought this far in advance I'm going to put in another control center here and we're also going to build another anti-meteor laser Um, maybe that'll help. I don't know. But we're definitely being pummeled by, uh, pummeled by these uh, meteors. A little bit of metal. A little bit of plastic. I think we should have all this. I think it's just a matter of getting it out here. The bar still looks fine. It's just an original colonist. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just, um, <laughs> yeah, definitely another laser. I'm just going around, uh, taking a look to see, to see how everything is going. We're not producing any spares. What are our limits at? We're only asking for five. That's not too much, I don't think. Oh, and we also took out our guns. Uh, here's a huge ship, so we'll see what they do to our uh, food supplies. And let's uh, turn off visitors. How many is it? Well, not. It's four. They look like a lot, though. They're all unhappy, sleepy, hungry. There'll be a, a little bit of a test. And then once this is built, I'm going to put, I'm going to move one of these consoles down here. I'm going to put one telescope console and one radio console. in here I'm going to increase the priority over here I'm going to delete this and uh, as soon as this um, console is built I'm going to delete this one for the radio antenna with the radio antenna, we're really just hoping to uh, kind of sell our our med kits with accidents. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and delete that. And tab to put up the domes. I'm going to return this to normal priority over here keep this one on high priority and I'm splitting up I'm splitting up the uh, the location of these consoles in the hopes that well yeah <laughs> uh, in the hopes that it'll help it be manned my last colony I I tried that out a little bit and seemed to have some success um, 
by having several different work locations. I'm not sure if it was the proximity to to like colony services like dorms and cafeterias, um, if the work gets prioritized like by nearness. I'm not sure how that works, um, but I did have some success with that. Obviously, I'm having no success today. <laughs> uh, but I tried, right? And we have enough metal, so let's get a ridiculous. Uh, one thing I do like, I do like about this game and the kind of the disaster scenario is um, they actually give you a way to to mitigate the disasters. Um, like in Banished, if a tornado came or a fire came, there was like nothing that you can do. It was the disasters were kind of scripted to happen, and uh, they happened, and there was there's nothing you can do about it. I like uh, Planet Base's way of handling this better, uh, where they give you some tools to uh, to prevent the disasters. Uh, bots and semiconductors. Do we have we have no coins? I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna tie up our workers trading this stuff, or should I? Actually, I am going to do this. What is that? Eight med kits? No, I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want to spend too much, uh, just because I am waiting for the dome patents, and they cost a lot of money. They're like the five, six hundred dollar range. So unless I really need it, I'm going to try and be a little bit more conservative with trading. And we are doing pretty well. Um, how are we doing for bots? We're back up to four carrier bots, which I absolutely love. We have five driller bots working now. Uh, I think we're going to do one more, one more constructor bot, and then I'm going to change that over to carrier bots as well. Uh, just to see if hey glad to see you're working uh, just to see if we can beef up our carrier bots a bit the life's oh shit shoot yellow alert I don't know why that came as such a surprise to me but it did <laughs> And, yeah, I think uh, we're lucking out here. I don't think there's any problem at all. Oh, we got up our next solar panel. Um, wait, why can't I delete that? Oh, because this connection isn't made. Oh, power monger. Another, uh... And here's what our colony looks like during a solar flare. We're generating a ton of power. I don't, I usually miss these messages. I don't even pay attention to them. Uh, we'll get this connection and then we'll clean up all of these over here. looking pretty good. It's looking like a colony. Lots of colonists in the bar. <laughs> uh, we just had a ship full of visitors. Our, our vegetables and meat are still are still about the same level. Our meals are falling a bit.
these machines are pretty full, though. Oh. Yeah, we're definitely... The, the bar... The bar is definitely impacting our food here. Uh, but we're, not, we're still at a safe level. This solar flare is going on forever. Let's, uh, let's increase this to four times speed. And... And it's over. No alert. Uh, it would have been nice if if we actually got a warning. That's part of what these uh, telescopes are supposed to do as well. Uh, warn us when disasters are incoming, but that that did not happen. Okay, and our power grid is completely full. We're going to just... Uh, I'm just gonna delete all of these. We're gonna delete all of those, then put up one more colossal solar panel over here. How's that look? Is that going to annoy me too much? Nope. Looks good. Uh, now that's nice. Uh, I can look out here. I can see our, our water situation. I can tell at a glance how we're doing on our power. Uh, the only... Turn off visitors. The only thing that needs maintenance is right here close to the base and the airlocks. Um, right now this is our only storage. So they can uh, pick up a spare, head right out the airlock, and maintain that. The only way they need to come out here is with a meteor strike, so it's pretty good. And we have a trader. Um, all to get up our supplies. No, I think we said we were going to hold off on trading for a while, didn't we? I think we did. That's a good plan. I just want to kind of settle into what we have. Our food keeps dropping a bit. But I think it's stable. I don't think it's a... Uh... It's not a cause for concern. Okay, I actually don't have any idea how long this video is, but I think we made a nice bit of progress. We have the perfect power grid all set up. It's a thing of beauty. Actually, this is my favorite power grid that I've ever done. It looks uh, perfectly neat and organized. You can tell at a glance how the water is doing. You can tell at a glance how your power is doing. Um, you don't have to look at these ugly graphs at all to see, which makes me happy. Uh, yeah, so I'm pleased about that. We got in a second anti-meteor laser for all the good that it's done, but no one died this episode, so that's good, right? Uh, we're continuing to make some progress on our bots. We have four constructor bots now, which is huge because they're going to free up our engineers. Our mines are slowly filling with driller bots, which means our workers can be processing it and they're keeping up amazingly well and we have a very healthy 30 ore and 22 plastic. Uh, so we're ready to expand the next episode. Um, yeah, that is all. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll come back for more.